very first superior cave horror and just a lovely and sold head nice oh whoa the k uh we just got ourselves another superior twice in a row uh i have no idea what kind of odd that is but that is actually pretty lucky i would say all right let's see what we get another and sold head god damn it superior number three another horror head nice superior number four another head Alright, Derrida, what you got for me now, buddy? 236 blood velts? Eh, that's alright. I might as well just spin the wheel. So let's have a look at what the wheel is going to give us this time. With a couple of clicks, let's see what we're going to roll. We are going to do 100 skeletal wyverns. Well, I might as well take the melee route since I'll be able to bank everything I get. So, it should be some pretty good money. We might get the reward, and we do. Ooh, another bucket helmet. Is that a new? I think that might be a new one. Hang on, let me actually check this just to see if it is. It's oh, it's only 144k loot, man. That kind of sucks. All right, did we get ourselves a new bucket helmet for the chest? Yeah, perfect. Uh, what, which ones do I have left anyway? Hang on. So I've got uh, heroic shield three and four to go, and for the helmets we got two and five to go. I could just buy them. Actually, I know I can just buy them, but I. Yeah, you know, I might actually just wait just to see if I can get them through clues. If not, I might as well just buy it, the whole chest out, really. I'm really glad to see all the superiors that we've been getting, but it would be a lot more amazing if we get one of those special items. But it's going to give us a hard clue. What the hell, man? Okay, that is pretty lucky, I would say. Well, isn't this nice? Another dragon med helm. From the exact same fucking creatures we got the last one from. It's only 60k, man. What is this? Fuck, that's easy, Alk there. Nice. Alright, so this might be the reward here. 53,000, and it is. And we got two of the worst pages with a magic longbow. That kind of sucks. But now we've got that out of the way, might as well go and start killing our uh, Skeletal Wyvern. So let's kind of hope we can get a Visage. Uh, at least, or maybe some D legs, because we don't want any more skirts, we just want legs. So this will be the final Skeletal Wyvern out of the 100 we rolled for the wheel. And there we go, 100 have been killed, everything has been looted. Now let's go and bring them all to the GE, and see how much we made. So this is the first inventory that we got uh, from the Skeletal Wyverns. Uh, 1.1 mil in most of the loot that it will give you. So let's sell that and see how much we made exactly. So after selling all of that, uh, 1.1 mil there and an extra 727 GP. And now for the rest of it, it's going to give us how much? An extra 384k. So all this together, we have made roughly about 1.5 mil. So if we quickly sell these, we should be able to see if it is correct or not. And yeah, I did get myself the granite legs, but I didn't really see the need to record them because um, it's not actually part of the tab. If an item is a part of the tab and I do obtain it from PBM or anything like that, then I will um, actually tell it, or in this case, I'll record it. Um, so let's see if we can quickly sell these granite legs. There we go. So we got an extra 390k from that. So if we put these together, 1.5 mil from 100 skull to wyverns. That's actually pretty good money. So... Let's make our way back to Duradel and let's go get ourselves our new Slayer task. Alright, Duradel, I've come back to ya. We did finish that Bloodville task from before, so what are you going to give me now? Ooh, 53 Steel Dragons. Maybe get a Visage. Hopefully get a Visage, because I do want a Visage. Even though I already got the DFS, I kind of want the Visage, though. Alright, Duradel, I've come back for you, buddy. What are you going to give me for my 990th task in a row? 219 Gargoyles. Well, I think it's about time for me to try the uh, the boss gargoyles, so let's get ourselves geared up. Let's see if we can get 100 kills down. So I decided to do a little bit of buying in the Grand Exchange. I decided to buy myself a Tyrannical Ring, which would be very helpful with the Dragon Warhammer once I do get that back from the... Not from the GE. Uh, I don't know why I was trying to spell <laughs> Grand Exchange. Uh, if we do such as the Dragon Warhammer, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's still pretty much sitting at a stable price. Uh, I might buy that again and sell the Spectral and try to do Cerberus without the Spectral. Uh, it wouldn't be too hard to do it without it, so I might try and do that. And there might be something else I could try to sell. Um, I would say it might be the Bandos Tass sets and just use Torax Plate Legs instead. Uh, that might actually work out pretty well. But for now, I'm just going to buy the Tyrannical Ring and the two Battle Staves that we get from Superior Creatures. And we'll just put them straight in there. Eventually, I'm going to have to try and buy the uh, Treasonous Ring, 
uh, which does do good for stab, which can work pretty well when we try to do Serb. Uh, not Serb, sorry. Uh, when we try and do the Corporal Beast, I might try to do a couple of solos. Um, just kind of like the Iron Man way, instead of having people join me, so I can get all the loot for myself. Uh, so I might give that a go, but for now, um, I won't buy it for now, and then I'll try to imbue them once I uh, do get that chance to do it. And once again, let's go back to our uh, Guardian task and get ourselves ready to finally kill those, uh, those Gargoyle bosses. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what the fuck, man? I got myself another Dragon Medhelm. Is this this is going to be a constant thing as well. So we got a lot of skirts and a lot of Dragon Metal Helms now. What the hell? And dead. There we go. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, our very first unique drop. I was ringing my water bottle because I wasn't expecting to get anything. But we got our first unique drop, which is the Granite Gloves. 300k for these. I need 23 kill count. You know what? It's a lot better than getting a Dragon Med Helm, that's for sure. Like, it took me a while, but I finally got me one of these damn Gargoyle Superiors. Look at that. Like, five left for this task. And I almost got myself dropped. For a Rune 2 Hander, Gold Ore, and Steel Bars. Damn. Alright. Well, all I know is, I don't think I'm ever going to get myself an imbued heart after, like... How many have I killed, actually? Let me have a quick look. 200? No, that's wrong. I'll look at it after. Alright, Durado, what do you got next, mate? You <laughs> Okay. It's time to do some Jad. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to try and get a good time of that. And also, this is like, okay, this is just a full Slayer task of me doing 50 of the Guardians and then the rest in the Gargoyles. 3.4 mil just from that alone. And from what I remember, uh, someone in the Slayer area for the Gargoyles, they said you make more money out of, you know, just killing the normal Gargoyles. I don't think so. I don't think you can make 3.4 mil just like that, just from purely Gargoyles, so... If you ever get the chance to, I'll tell you this now, guys. Just go and do it. Just go and do the boss. Kill 50, kill 25, and you'll still make bank. So just before we go into our Jad task, what I decided to do is buy two more new items into the tab. And if we go have a look here with our banker, we got ourselves the Malediction Ward and the Odium Ward. And also what I decided to do is buy the upgrade kit so they look just a little better. Because knowing me, I'm definitely not going to be selling these and... All I do know is, once I do complete the tab, I don't want to try and sell any of the stuff there. Maybe the Barrow's gear, if I have to, but, you know, the only time I'm going to try and sell those if they're broken. So, at least I know now we have two more extra items into the tab now. We've got the Odium Ward and we've got the Malediction Ward. And I'm going to be using the Odium Ward with the uh, Black Chins here. So, hopefully, we can get ourselves some pretty good damage when we try to go uh, and try and kill Jad. So... Uh, hopefully I can get a pretty good time. I can't remember what my previous time was. It was about 29 minutes or something like that. Uh, this time I will bring Venge. I'm not going to fuck that up again. So let's see if we can get ourselves a pretty good time at Jad. Please hit me. Holy shit. <laughs> there we go. Personal best. 29 minutes and 41 seconds. I'm not surprised I actually beat my old one. I don't even know what it was, but that's actually pretty decent with the gear we had. So, the question being, if we exchange this, are we lucky? Please. Of course I'm not fucking lucky. Why would I be lucky? Alright, Duradel baby, I'm coming back for you, and you're going to give me 26 Mithril Dragons to see if I can get myself some chewed bones so I can get myself a Dragon Full Helm. But probably not today, though. Not today. Um... Tomorrow, maybe? Oh! Finally, I got myself some fucking chewed bones! Uh, I think this is the second or third time I got myself chewed bones. I'm not 100% certain, but I know at least I got them, so... Uh, let's have a go and see if we can get ourselves the Dragon Full Helm, maybe. If not, then, you know, we're not lucky. So let's finally use up our chewed bone here at the Pyre site, so let it do... It's own little thing here, the Barbarian disappears, we make the boat, we light it up eventually... And here we go. God damn it, I only got four, only 14 death runes. That is horrible. But what's cool about this is I actually was able to complete one of the elite tasks for the Kanarin Elite Diaries. And what I've actually noticed, the only thing I have to do now... Uh, well, actually, there's two things I've got to do. I can actually do this right now if I wanted to. And the last one is, you know, read the blackboard, uh, the Bavarian site after reaching level 5 in every roll. 
Um, for what I've heard is that if I just want to do this with help, uh, I'm going to have to pay like 70 something mil to the, uh, the CC. That's entirely long. Uh, that's wrong there, by the way. Uh, yeah, so it's like roughly about 70 mil from the, um, the Bounty Hunter Leech CC. So I might have to just go through with that since, you know, with the alt, I did make money off 99 mining, which was kind of cool. So uh, hopefully I can actually get that complete and I'll be able to get the Canada Elite Diary done. So let's see what our next assignment is going to be from Duradel here. 200 Greater Demons. Exactly 200. Well, that means 50 Zammies at least. Or maybe more if I wanted to. Oh, one more hit now. There we go. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Steam Battle Staff. Oh, well, that's a nice 300k for this trip. So that's... That, yeah, that kind of works. That kind of works out nicely. This is a pretty good solo trip. We've gotten six kills so far. And that's actually pretty good. I'm really happy with this. So we might be getting the reward here from... Uh, where did we get this clue from? Oh, we got it from the Zemi Minion. That's right. So let's see what we're going to get. A nice Zemi page for 390k. Very, very nice. Completed our greater demon task. Do it out. What you got for me now? Ooh, yeah, that's very nice. 136 Dagonoffs. All I need to do is try and get myself one archer's ring, and then I have all of the uh, all of the basic rings, really. And then all I have to do is try and get the uh, wilderness rings, and then I'm completely done with all the rings. So I decided to say, fuck it. I'm just going to get myself a couple of bonds so I can you know, keep the membership on this account running. And what I did decide to do is go through, uh, I don't know, about 60 mil to get myself 20 bonds so I can get something that... I, hopefully I don't regret, so RuneScape, well, old school RuneScape, you know, do let me know this is not regrettable right here for me to go for this, so I'm going to give myself a year of membership on this account. Uh, what that does mean is I'm going to have to try and not worry as much on uh, how much I play on this account, even though, you know, it's basically my main account, I'm going to have to try and play as much as I can. So uh, let us confirm the gold uh, Premier Club package, and let's go... It's going to take a while after going through that, and there we go. That was pretty quick, strangely enough. Uh, congratulations, you're now a Gold Premier Club member with 12-month membership. Now, I don't really know what the benefits are, but I do know one unique benefit is actually getting this amount here, and apparently I don't have it, and I have to unlock this by redeeming the code with Diango. So I might as well just go and do that now. And pet drop. No, I called it completely wrong. I got myself a Dragon Axe instead. God damn it. Oh well, at least I finally got one of the items from here. So this will be the final Dagonoff for our trip. And I'm pretty disappointed that we only got ourselves the Dragon Axe. And we do finish with some U-Logs. That's actually quite nice there. So I'm quite curious. So without getting any of those, how much have we just made? Just from, you know, just the regular drops. Let's have a look if I actually can. Thank you. Can I? Can I please open this? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, man. Uh, so just picking that regular drop, so uh, that brings us to 1.2 mil. Okay, so these are still pretty profitable. You just have to get over about 100, uh, 100 of them to 130, so you can get a 1 mil or more profit, which is actually quite nice. Uh, and we did get ourselves a Dragon Axe, and hopefully these do rise. I doubt they're ever going to rise the price again, so... Uh, yeah, pretty shitty trip, I would say, and yeah. Back at it again, Doradal. You're going to give us more Greater Demons. I don't want to have to kill Zami anymore, man. I actually hate him now. All I really do have to do is get myself a Staff of the Dead anyway, and that's basically it. So for now, I think I will just skip this. We've got a lot of points. I just noticed that now. Um, so you're going to give me more Dark Beasts. Well, you know what? I'm going to spin the wheel for the next episode, and then I'm going to go kill myself some uh, Dark Beasts. So we'll be getting the reward here. Uh, I'm just going to teleport out of the wilderness and open it. Not in the wilderness, but at the Grand Tree. So let's spam this baby and see what we're going to get. <laughs> Blue DI body, golden trim, and the bandos page. Only 69k. Oh well, it's decent at least.